In this video, we will go over the protocol for using Origene's Mycoplasma Detection Kit, MycoTrack. The protocol is quite simple and consists of three main phases, sample preparation, PCR, and finally, interpretation. We will first begin with phase one, sample preparation. Before handling your sample, you'll want to thaw the kit components at room temperature, then briefly spin them in a micro centrifuge to collect the material at the bottom of the tubes. You will then transfer 1.2 milliliters of your cell culture supernatant into a micro centrifuge tube. Spin this tube at 1000 RPM for five minutes to pellet any cellular debris. Then transfer one milliliter of the supernatant to a fresh tube. Next, centrifuge the tube at 13,000 RPM for 10 minutes to pellet any mycoplasma. You will then discard the supernatant, then wash the pellet once with one milliliter of PBS, followed by another spin at 13,000 RPM for 10 minutes. After this spin, you will discard the supernatant once again and add 50 microliters of DNA's free water, or TE, to buffer the pellet. Next, heat the samples at 98 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes, then vortex them for five to 10 seconds. After vortexing, centrifuge the samples at 12,000 RPM for five minutes using a micro centrifuge. As the last step in this phase, you will transfer the heated supernatant to a fresh tube, which will later be used as the template in PCR. Now moving on to phase two, the PCR reaction. Prepare the set of reactions listed in the following table. You can pause the video here or find the procedure with this table in our product manual located on our website. The link to navigate to the Mycoplasma Detection Kit page will be in the description box below. After setting up the reactions, perform the PCR reaction as depicted in this table. After the reaction is complete, apply 5 to 10 microliters of each PCR product to a well and perform gel electrophoresis. We will now wrap everything up with phase 3, result interpretation. When mycoplasma contamination is present in your cell culture, you will see a band around 250 to 300 base pairs. In addition, there should be a band present at 700 base pairs. This is the internal amplification control. If this band is not present in one of your lanes, something went wrong during the PCR step and you should retest your culture. For more information or to speak with our technical support team, visit www.origine.com.